I have played Stardew Valley with mods for a long time now, but there has always been one mod that doesn't exist that I wish did. Me. Putting myself in the game. And thankfully, adding a custom character to Stardew is one of the easiest mods that you can do, according to this wiki page, which may or may not be lying to me. And so that is what I decided to try. The first things first, I did look at this a little bit earlier. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to create an empty content patcher content pack. So content patcher is used in a lot of mods and it basically just like, it basically makes it easy to make mods. So I've already made a folder called CP for content patcher unsurpassable Z. So I've, I've already made the outline here, manifest.json. I copied over from another project that I worked on, which is Invisible Villagers, but I haven't updated that at all. Content.json, I just like copied right here from their example. And then the assets folder, I, I needed sprites to use in place that I was going to edit later. So I just grabbed Beach Clint and and Beach Clint's portraits. And so I'll replace that with myself here. Now this supposedly, if I just copy this, this folder called content.json is what tells all of the stuff what to do. So basically what's in here right now is it'll say action load and you'll find from the file assets sprites.png, which for me right now in my folder assets, I have sprites.png. It'll, it'll load this into the location characters slash Dobson is the name of the person in my mod right now. I can change that to unsurpassable Z. Let's do that first. Let's get a little a uh, little personal about this. So I'm going to find all instances of the word Dobson, which is like the example name, and I will replace it with unsurpassable Z. Replace all, there we go. And just like that, the mod belongs to me. So this is kind of nerd stuff. You don't really need to worry about that so much. What I wanna work on first is getting the assets right. So I think sprites, we'll do portraits first. So I think I need to use pictures of me in real life for the portraits. So let's open this with Photoshop. So it looks like we've got to convey four different emotions. Here's a folder that I have of my emotes. Ooh, okay, we've got a couple of promising ones. So one of the emotions we have to convey is anger. I have an angry face right here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and drag that into the, the bottom corner down here. That'll do, that'll do just fine and dandy. Look, if you're looking for a really clean mod, you're gonna wanna watch a different tutorial because this is this is what this is gonna look like. So we've got our angry, now we have sad. Oh, unsurp cry. Of course, we're gonna use unsurp cry for that. So let's drag that into place. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. Okay, and now we have like a neutral face and like a happy face. What are we working with here? Unsurp yodel for happy? Unsurp yodel for happy, I think. Okay, that's good. And then last but not least, we just have our neutral face, which I think should just be the classic. Unsurp cream. Oh God, it's so menacing. So I think, I think that's good. I think that we've got everything now. I will save that as portraits.png. I will save that over the existing one. And there, those, those are the faces that you're gonna see when you talk to me. <laughs> now, what else do we wanna work on? We have to, so that was, that was portraits, but we also have to do the sprites now. So the sprites, I think what, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna open Stardew and design a character that looks like me. And then I will grab screenshots of me in each orientation. I think I'll do it that way. I have actually never made a character in Stardew Stardew that just looks like me as a human before. I've only made like the most ugly, abysmal creatures that have ever walked the face of the earth. So I need some spiky hair. 11 seems good, but it seems very spiky. Uh, not really. Don't say dent. I don't need a dent. Oh my God, you guys are so annoying. Okay, I actually think 11 is our best, our best shot here. Uh, my hair I think is a little darker than that. I think it's like that, maybe? Uh, my eye color is blue, but not that blue. It's, oh God, it's like very intense blue. Like that, I don't know. What shirt do I normally wear? I'm wearing a purple shirt right now. There's so many weird shirts here. Pink, and then my pants color. I'll wear shorts. Oh God, no, shorts look weird. Maybe just that. Maybe I rock the pink shirt and the jeans. I don't know, man, I'm not a designer. That's probably the best that we're gonna get. So let me, uh, let me do this and I'll start a farm. Forest was not necessary, but I did that anyway. And I'm gonna use my cheats mod. This is how I crop myself out for all stuff anyway. This is what I do. I grab with my snipping tool like this. I snip, bloop, just like that. Copy, and I'll bring that into Photoshop. Oh, I'm so big here. I'm gonna have to figure out how much smaller I need to make myself. I'll scale the whole thing up and then when I'm done, I'll scale it all back down. Now, because I stood out in the void to take this screenshot of myself, I can just go Boop, select the background, delete, select my shadow, delete, and there we are. So that's like neutral standing facing forward. And I just take that. Why am I so short? I feel like I feel like I did not scale this correctly. I feel like I have to scale this a little bit smaller. Hold on. So that was me standing neutrally. So now all I have to do is find that sprite, line it up, 
and plop it in place right there. And then I just delete Clint from underneath. Boom, and that's me standing neutral. So now I just grab a screenshot of me stepping right, bring that in here, delete the background, delete the shadow, line it up on this one. Looks like it goes right there and delete the underlying Clint. And there we go. Now I need another one of me walking like this. The other foot forward, so we'll do that. And I think this is another neutral one. Am I crazy or is this the same as the first one? I think this is just the same. I think this is just like your neutral step. All right, I'll just drag this guy over here and do that. All right, and then pretty much you just do that. You just do the exact same rest of that, but just from every angle, walking right, walking away, walking left. I'll do that off camera, but I think that's a pretty good start for that. All right, I wanna look back at this sheet now. So there's a couple other things that we have to figure out for our character. I'm gonna read through this and we're gonna decide on some stuff. Basic info, the data NPC's disposition asset contains basic information for your character, including their name, birthday, relations to other characters, personality, and whether they can be dated. File has one row per NPC like this. And so I think that's here, data NPC dispositions in English. So this file, although it has a lot of text, is not actually that hard. It just has one line per character and it says it has different attributes about them. And so I'm gonna slide myself right in here at the very end after Leo and uh, I'll just copy Leo's and I'll bring myself right here. So I'm gonna add, I'll change the name to myself, unsurpassable Z. Now, the first thing that we have to decide is my age. So this this has all sorts of different stuff that uh, that applies to your character in different ways. Some stuff is used, some stuff isn't. So like here, age, and this, uh, whether the NPC is a child, teen, or adult are the three options for us. And so this affects certain dialogue lines. So like generic dialogue, like a, how a child responds to dumpster diving with ew, or a teen would be like, um, you know? So this this is like that kind of information. So I think for myself, do we do teen? I'm not a teen, so I guess we do adult. Don't say child. Don't say child right now. Come on now. Oh, Blade says do this in the content patch. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying, Blade. I will fix that. Okay, I was wrong. I was right about all of the stuff, but I was wrong about where it is. So this is actually in that like content.json that tells you everything. This says, hey, take this information and put that in that file I was just in. And so uh, I'm an adult and then we have manners. So this will affect some generic dialogue lines. What do you guys think? Pollute, pollute. What do you guys think? Polite, rude, or neutral? Rude, neutral? Rude, rude, neutral. Child is also in there. I couldn't get, I couldn't get a polite. <sighs> Fine, we'll do rude, we'll do rude. Social anxiety. So this will also affect some generic dialogue lines. This is either outgoing, shy, or neutral. I think I am outgoing, so I will keep that. Optimism, positive, negative, or neutral. This is actually unused, but I think for the record, I am positive. Male, okay, I haven't changed a single thing yet. I'm like the, I am the definition of a default character, I'm realizing. Uh, do we wanna make myself dateable? I feel like, come on, we've gotta go for dateable, right? What is secret? What is the option secret? Secret is used exclusively for Krobus, who cannot be married, but we can made to a roommate. Okay, so I will, I'll do dateable. No, I think dateable is too much work, and that's actually also weird, because I am engaged to M, so I don't want you guys to be able to date me. I'm going non-dateable, definitely no. Love interest is also unused. Uh, and then we have our home region. So where do I live? Do I live in the desert, the town, or other? This is used when improving friendship points for all NPCs in a given region. So like the luau will affect all people who live in the town. So I'll stick in the town as my as my home. Uh, my birthday, let me see if I convert that. February 8th, that's my birthday. How many days are there between December 21st and February 8th? So there's 49 days. My birthday is 49 days into the winter season, which is a grand total of approximately 91 days. So I'm approximately halfway through the winter season. The 15th of winter? Sure, that sounds right. Winter 15th is my birthday. Today I learned. Uh, and then this tile right here, says, where do you want to spawn? Default map and position, the location and tile position where the farmer starts. So I think by default, it just throws me on the bus stop at 19.4. So it's just like a random spot on the bus stop. And the display name is going to be Unsurpassable Z. So that should be good. Let's, let's save this and let's pop in real quick and just see if this is working. Because I think a lot of this should automatically set us up so that we have like a flesh sack of a person set up for us. So let's just load any old farm right now. All right, so if I did everything correctly, when I go to the top of the bus stop here, I should see myself. 
Oh, I forgot to scale him back down. I accidentally made him four times larger than he's supposed to be. That is just my right arm. Okay, give me a second. I forgot to scale it back down. That's on me. So let me scale that back down. Now, if I've done this correctly, I will be at the bus stop. Okay. Oh, okay. So I didn't change all the sprites yet, so he still looks like naked Clint. But if I make him face me... <laughs> okay, I didn't like the gift. I didn't like the gift very much. But hey, it's it's working so far. Just don't look at me from the side or else I turn into Beach Clint accidentally. But hey, otherwise, we're, we're looking pretty solid. Nice. Okay, what else do we want to work on here real quick? Now, there's another aspect of this, which is gift tastes. And so uh, I think if you go into data NPC gifts, so here in content.json, uh, there's this line right here. And so I can change what I say when you give me things, as well as what things I enjoy. So first, this is my loved gift text. What do I want to say when you give me a loved gift? Okay, do we do a wooga for a loved gift? All caps, all caps, a wooga. I like that. I like uh, I like a wooga as our loved gift. And now I think these are the object IDs for our loved gifts. So every object in Stardew has a number associated with it. So for example, weeds is the number zero, stone is the number two, and that's how you can cheat and spawn things in. And if you name a chicken, for example, left bracket 70, right bracket, Marnie will say, okay, I will send 70 to her new home right away. And when she says that, it actually spawns in that object. And so I need some loved and I need some loved objects right now. I think we'll pick, we'll pick four, four loved objects. All right, I'm not even gonna wait for anyone to say it. I will find sap, sap is 92. Okay, cheese also feels right. Uh, regular cheese is 424. Lawn flamingo, can you give lawn flamingo? That is not an object that you can give. So that doesn't have a, a number. Lober, Lober, of course. Lobster's a good one, 715. And one more. <sighs> and cockle. Yeah, that's fair. 718. Okay, so those are our loved gifts now. Our sap, cheese, lobster, and cockle. Now I need something to say when you give me a liked gift. A wooga is hard to beat. Boom, boom, boom. That's a good one. Boom, boom, boom. Thanks. I gotta, I gotta say thanks on there. A boom, boom, boom is such a weird thing to say if you're just like being given a gift. So we'll do boom, boom, boom is what I'll say. And now I need some liked gifts. We will do three of them. I feel like Joja Cola should be liked. That's 167. I'm not gonna like soggy newspaper. That's a weird object. You guys are just saying that because I'm like hovering over it right now. Strange doll. I like strange doll. 126 and 127. Give you that as a freebie. Golden mask for the trials. Anyone? And... Bone God. That's not a real object in Stardew, you realize, right? That was from the randomizer, wasn't it? Strange bun. Strange bun. 203. Okay, so our loved or our, our liked objects are the golden mask, the strange bun, the two strange dolls, and Joja Cola. Okay, what do I want to say when you give me a neutral gift? I feel like this is something that I say a lot. Bro, what? Maybe it's just because I hear it in my stream intro all the time, but I feel like I say, bro, what? That's what I said when my mom gave me the Sha I love my Shawnee Do shirt, which was the real life equivalent of receiving a neutral gift. And so I think I'll rock with bro, what? Now, what are my neutral objects? We'll just do two, two neutrals. What do I feel neutral about? Um, Coconut. I'll do coconut as a neutral gift. I don't even remember anymore what that, like why that was a meme in the channel, but I'll do coconut. Key bean, sure. 890, we'll do key bean. Now, what do I want to say when I give a disliked gift? Um, I will say stinky. <laughs> Is stinky uh, disliked or hated? Let's let's come up with our hated real quick too. Cause I, I definitely like stinky as one of them, but I don't know if that's, if that's dislike or hate. What would we do for hated? You rat. <laughs> okay, you rat. I like that. Okay, what are my disliked objects? Let's just do one. One disliked object. Blobfish? I kind of like the blobfish though. The Shawnee Dew is not an object. Sap is already a loved gift. Everyone's saying blobfish. I'll do blobfish, I guess. Blobfish seems like a gift that everyone would dislike, but then also that is like one of the funniest moments from my videos was when uh, Matt saw the blobfish just go running across the screen and he was like incredibly confused. Oh, I think I'm already there. Yeah, I think I already had it pulled up because this is where I was last time I was on this video. I was looking for this clip. Imagine calling 120 a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> did anyone else just see the, the blobfish here at the bus stop? Because I did. Dude, Matt, you are tripping, man. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but... <laughs> oh my god, I love that clip, dude. Alright, Blobfish is my disliked object. And now as my hated object, I've only got one. 
What's it gonna be? Pick wisely, chat. I don't really hate pickles so much. They don't really mean too much. Owl statue? What? Why would you give an owl statue to me? Um, I like prismatic shards still. I wish Vin- How about grape? How about grape? Because grape reminds me of Vincent. 398. All right. And that's that. That's the uh, NPC gift taste. So here's the deal. I think we're already running pretty late right now. So how about we continue this on our next stream? I will go off while I'm offline. I will fix up this portraits and I will add the rest of the portraits that we need. And the next time I'm live, we will do the dialogue. We will do the schedule and uh, that should be it. I think that's pretty much the big stuff. All right, since we left off, I replaced all of the rest of the sprites and I did a little bit of research into the dialogue and the schedule. And so we're gonna do that now. Now here's the good news. The, the good news is all we have left is the dialogue and the schedule. The bad news is that is like way harder than the rest of it. They make you, they trick you. This is the page and it's like, hey, here's everything you need to know about making your own person. But then it's like, okay, I'll go to the dialogue section. And then it's like, oh yeah, for dialogue, uh, just go to this page instead. And then this page is this long and has all of this, all these different details and all of this scary stuff that I got to worry about right now. And so we're going to worry about the dialogue uh, second. We're going to do the schedule first because I think the schedule is a little bit easier. Rather than starting with a blank schedule, I'm gonna open up Kent's because Kent has a really basic schedule and uh, it doesn't change based on him being like married or anything because he's already married uh, to some woman that I can't remember the name of. So I'll take this Kent.json schedule from the game and I'll copy it right here and I will rename this. I'll just get rid of mine and rename it schedule. Okay, so here's basically how the, the schedule is structured. So here's like an example line, right? Fry. This means on Friday, this is your schedule. 700 means the time in, in terms of military time. So at seven o'clock in the morning, you will go to location, town. You're gonna go to the tile 42102, which is just like some spot in town. And you will face direction two, which is down. Down is the default, uh, but you can make them face any direction. Then at 10.30, you will head to the location Sam House, which is like his house, and you will stand in that map at location 812 and you'll face down. See how easy it is? Like, it's actually not that hard. And so we just have to come up with like what I'm going to do during these times and when I want to do it. So like, what does a typical day in the life of Unsurpassable Z look like? Where should I start? I guess that's a good point too, because I still right now I'm spawning in the bus stop. So where should I start every day? And I'll open Stardew to help us with this. Middle of ocean, good one, ha ha ha. Sewer, oh, in front of Joja? I like that. Should I start in front of Joja? Although then it feels weird, like if you've gotten rid of Joja, then what do I do? In the sewer? Should I start in the back of the tunnel? I don't know what that map is called. I know what the sewer is called. Should I spawn in the sewer? Krobus is already here. Let's do back a tunnel. I'll start right here. So what I'm gonna do is in Smappy, ignore all of my red. I think if I type debug, Farmer underscore position. Oh, just farmer position. Okay, so this is part of the spawn monsters mod. But in here, if I type farmer position, this will tell me I'm at the location 10-7 on this map. I don't know what this map is called though, so I gotta figure that out. So now if I go into Stardew here, content unpacked, I want maps. Town, is there one just called town.tmx? Yeah, okay, town.tmx. TMX files? are the map files. I learned that when I was doing Where's Waldo. And so I just have to figure out which one of these is like the bus tunnel. There's bu bus people.tmx, bus stop.tmx. There's boat tunnel, tunnel.tmx is probably that. So let's go back into, into the here. And what's the capitalization? Just a capital T. So I wanna spawn every day at tunnel, tunnel 107. So I should spawn there from now on. Now, where do I wanna go? What's what's my day look like? Let's do Friday first. Let's 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 change up my Friday. Maybe I go to Joja Mart when it opens. Let's let's say at nine o'clock I go to the town. Now I gotta find out what location Joja Mart is. Let's go here and then I'll, I'll I'll look at the shelves right here. So what's my position? Okay, there's so much red in here right now. It's definitely not liking what I'm doing right now. All right, fourteen sixteen. So I actually have to figure out what the Joja Mart map is, not town. J J J. Jojamart.tmx, I'm sure that's it. So let's make my schedule at nine o'clock, go to Jojamart location 1416, and I will face direction, I wanna face right, and this page says one. The number one means face right, and I will face to the right, and I'll do some shopping at Jojamart. There we go, hey, not too bad, right? It's like Z and Shane have so much in common. No, don't say that. No, he works for Joja. I just, that's the only good part of Shane. But what if you've completed the community center? I have no idea what's gonna happen. Maybe I just 
sit in the tunnel for longer. I do not know. Where else do I want to go on a Friday? I feel like I'd shop until like 12 o'clock. And then how about I go stand in Pam's trailer? That feels weird, right? <laughs> What if I came here and I stood in Pam's trailer and I just looked at Pam? Like I just went right here. I'm at 15.5. Is there a map called Pam Trailer? Uh, trailer? Yes, trailer.tmx, okay. So after I've shopped for three hours, I will head to trailer and I will stand at location 15.5 and I will face zero is up and I'll stare at Pam for a little bit. That will interfere with her path, probably. I don't know how that works. We'll find out. I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a real modder. I'm probably just gonna give this all to Blade afterwards and be like, Blade, fix it, I didn't do it right. Now, where else will I go? Where else shall I go? Where do I wanna stand? Maybe I just come stand in the middle of town. <laughs> just just kind of aimlessly stand in the middle of town. I'm at 2867 in the town one. So let's say after I've stared at Pam, I wanna do this at night. This will be the last thing that I do, I feel like. You know what, how about before I go to town? How about for, before I go to town, I come to the bar and I come stand back here. And I stand right here where we filmed all the B-roll for the Stardew Valley trials confessionals 33 7 and I'll just stand there and like reminisce on the good times uh what am I doing here I want maps I gotta find like saloon yes saloon.tmx nice so let's say after I've stared at uh, inevitably Pam will not be there so after I've stared at Pam's empty seat for six hours so let's go 1800 then I go to the saloon and I stand at 33.7 and I face down and I stand there until 10 p.m. At which point I will go to the town. Was that 28.67? And I will face down. And that's it for the rest of the day. I, th I think that's it. I think Fridays, I will now do that. I want to test to see if that actually worked. So let's, let's restart Stardew. I'm telling you, there's about a 17% chance that this works like I think it's going to. All right, so I should right now, nice, I'm not here like I was before. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to face up, did I? No, I definitely didn't mean to face up. Okay, I kind of don't know how to make myself not face the wall. And so I guess I'm just gonna stand there with existential dread. Now, if I set the time to nine o'clock, why does the tunnel look like this? Whoa, I've never changed the time in the tunnel before. Hey, bro, what? Move, homie, do something. Oh, did I make it 10 o'clock? No, his schedule is nine o'clock. He's just playing hard to get. Okay, well, let's, well, let's just see where he goes. I've made it midnight, now he's walking. Also, why does he walk like that? It doesn't look right. Something's wrong. I gotta make it day so I can see him. Something's wrong with the way that he walks. One of them is like one pixel too far back. So when he's walking, he's like, mm, 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 uh. In the words of 2 chains, I got a pocket full of money. It got me walking all sleuth. Oh, and he's broken. Uh, Now we have reached an issue with the schedule right now. Don't type mm, window in the chat. <laughs> Um, Z, you good? Let's make it 10 p.m. He's supposed to move at 10. <gasps> he has become bus. Where is he? He's gone. He's not in the... Where'd he go? Okay. So, I think the schedule... The schedule might need a little work yet. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that off stream. Um, let's, let's try the dialogue, shall we? That feels like it's gonna go better. Let's start again with a base of Kent. All right, so this is a, a little bit more intense. The, the dialogue's a little bit more intense than the schedule, which is a little scary because schedule was supposed to be the easy part and I do not feel like I did a good job with that. Let's try dialogue here now. So um, a lot of this stuff is like notation that I don't like super well know, but here's like Monday. So if you talk to Kent on a Monday, it starts off and he would say, hello farmer. This hashtag means end, end the dialogue box. You know when you talk to a starter character and you click through and then it goes away, but you can still talk to them afterwards? That's what that means. So it's like end. I think that's also what the, what the dollar sign E means. You talk to him again and he says, I've been gone for so long, I feel like a stranger. Then there's a bunch of resort stuff. I'm gonna get rid of all the resort stuff. Movie invitation, accept this, reject that. Get rid of all that. That's that's Kent stuff. We don't need that. So that's what he would say to you if you talked to him on a Monday. Now here's Monday four. I thought at first when I read this, this was like if you talk to him on Monday the fourth, but it's not. It's when you talk to him when you have four hearts on a Monday. So after you've talked to him for a little bit, then his dialogue changes. 
And so after you've gotten four hearts, you'll say, I don't know if I'll ever get used to going back home. The peacefulness of the town feels like a mask. That's probably just me though. So I said, we get rid of this event popcorn stuff and let's just replace some dialogue lines, man. Let's just follow exactly Kent's layout. Cause why not? So what do I want to say on a Monday? Oh, I hate Mondays. You know me, you know me. How about I say uh, on a Monday, this is cringe. This is kind of cringy, but I could say Mondays have always been a part of my stream schedule. It's true. It's it's a fun fact for you guys watching. I've always had Mondays as a part of my stream schedule. Now, what do I say as a follow-up? What do I say as a follow-up? Zero out of 10. Don't give me a zero out of 10. Come on. Don't say make it more depressing. Fine. I'll make it more depressing. Uh, No one watched for a, a lot of the first Mondays. There, is that what you want? More depressing? <laughs> there. All right, Monday when I have four hearts, what do I say then? After you've gotten to know him for a while. Um, let's see, let's see. How about, wanna see my dent? <laughs> so stupid. Here, but I'll follow it up with this. Just kidding. I don't really have a dent. Right, guys? <laughs> All right, on Tuesdays, what do I wanna see? What, what do we wanna say? Basic thing for Z to say. How about just a, just a normal greeting? Hey there, hi there, ho there. And then I'll say, what a beautiful day to what? What? First person that says something. What a beautiful day to what? A single word. Okay, someone said eat sap, but that's two words. Dance. What a wonder, what a beautiful day to dance. Don't really know where that came from, but I like it. Tuesday at two hearts, once you've known me a little bit. Let's uh, let's say Tuesday the second. No, I'm not gonna say, hey, wanna see my awuga. That's nothing. That's a nothing phrase. Holy Jeebus, it's almost, it's already Tuesday. When have I ever said holy Jeebus? It's already Tuesday. Soon it'll be what? Soon it'll be what? First word, first word. Yoba, that doesn't fit grammatically, I don't think. Wednesday, my dude. There we go. Wednesday at six hearts. How about when you get to six hearts with me, I say, I like flamingos. They're pink and fun. On a regular Wednesday, what do I say to the farmer? Just on a regular Wednesday. You know, I'm a bit of a farmer myself. It's like a reference, cause like I am a player, like I play Stardew Valley. So it's like a little nod to that. Right, I don't know what Thursday number, like dollar sign one means, Kent one. And honestly, it's kind of scaring me. I'm getting rid of this line. It kind of scares me too much. What do I want to say on a Thursday? Have you seen the hat mouse? I like that. Have you seen the hat mouse? If you haven't, it should only take a few minutes. <laughs> Unless you're Shawnee do, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> All right, I don't think I need a specific line for if Sam becomes my in-law, so I'm gonna get rid of that line too. Friday, Friday, Friday. What am I gonna say on Friday? Have you met that smelly kid, Vincent? I'd stay away if I were you. <laughs> Saturday, it's a Saturday. How about I say, I passed out in the town square last night. Let's do a regular Sunday. I'll say something about M because I don't have anything about M here. M has really smelly feet. You can smell them from a mile away. Okay, that's my fiance. Saturday at eight hearts. This is important. You've gotten to know Unsurpassable Z. You've given him gifts. You've talked to him late into the night. You're at eight hearts with him, almost max. He's ready to reveal to you his deepest, darkest secret. You talk to him on a Saturday. What does he say? <laughs> Welcome to the flamboyant, should I say? You know, I've waited a long time to tell you this. Welcome to the flamboyance. All right, I like that. Look, okay, everything worked pretty well, except for the schedule. Let's reload it and let's try, let's try talking. Load. Let's go to the tunnel, our favorite location. Is he waiting here for us? He is facing the wall. There's an option. Have you met that smelly kid, Vincent? I'd stay away if I were you. Yeah, baby. Okay, all things considered, with the exception of the schedule, most of this worked out pretty well. I obviously could go in a lot more detail about like the dialogue and the schedule and everything, but I I think it's pretty good. It's a pretty good starting point. I'll probably revisit this in the future. If I ever like actually finish it off, I'll upload it on Nexus Mods. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching.